Hello everybody, I've been asked about this quite a bit, so today I want to talk to you about the five reasons why we have dark data. So let's step in front of a computer and find out. Here are the five reasons of why we have dark data and please stay until the end and let me know if you guessed reason number five. So the first reason why we may have dark data is the fact that there are different priorities that an organization focuses on. And sometimes these priorities are a little bit lopsided. Let me give you an example. So let's say there's a bank analyzing online applications for credit cards. And the credit card marketing team is focused solely on customer details and eligibility, but no attention is paid to the data on how the customer arrived at the application page. This unattended data could have provided valuable insights on the usability of the bank website and, of course, the application page. But there's no priority assigned to these aspects, unfortunately. And I think there's a lot of organizations that are not investing in web analytics, even though they are capturing and storing that data. And because they're not using it at all, it just becomes dark data. Another reason why we might have dark data is a lack of data governance. When you don't have data governance, there is really a higher chance that your organization is operating in silos. In a lot of organizations, actually departments have their own data collection and storage processes, which may not be known to the other departments. So this data might be collected and remain unused, even if it is relevant to other departments and it could be used by other departments but these other departments they don't even have a process to even find out about it let alone use it ah the poor data quality well the data collected could be incomplete or potentially inaccurate or there's even a lack of trust in it due to a lack of data quality and data governance of course and even unclarity on how it was collected and because of this, there's a high chance that it will not be used. Even if you have important customer information about a transaction, let's say, but it's missing location or other important metadata because that information sits somewhere else or was never captured in a usable format or is just lacking that completeness or accuracy. Because of this case, well, it will not be used. Or let's say that we have the audio recordings from a call center and the AI doing the transcript is not providing good results. Maybe because of the quality of the call or maybe because of the algorithm itself or the lack of enough proper data. Whatever it is, well, you're not going to feed that incomplete transcript, that incomplete data into another process to analyze it, to maybe, you know, understand the sentiment associated with the customer on the other line. So because you're not going to do any of that, you're not going to use that audio file, you're not going to use that transcript, that data, that becomes dark data. If data collection is done by separate technologies and tools in the same organization, there may be cases that these technologies and tools don't interact with each other because of technological constraints. For example, it might be difficult to integrate the audio file contents from that call center that I mentioned before with click-through data from the website of that company. And not having a tool to analyze dark data is listed as the number one reason on why companies aren't using dark data, at least according to Datamice. Or, you know, there might be a lack of knowledge and skills on how to integrate this data, how to analyze it, how to drive meaning from it. It could be that they only know how to use structured data. You know, the data gets collected because maybe others are doing it and the company wants to capture it for future use when they will have the capabilities to use it. But let's be honest, the larger the data set is, or let's say the less structured it is, the more sophisticated the tool required for analysis is needed. Additionally, these kinds of data sets oftentimes require analysis by individuals with significant data science expertise 
who, believe it or not, are often still in short supply. In companies that are at the early stages of a data analytics program, they're definitely facing these problems. All right, we've reached now our fifth reason why we have dark data. Let me know in the comments below if you've guessed this one. The inexpensive storage. I think in the grand scheme of things, one of the main reasons, maybe the most obvious ones of why we have dark data is how inexpensive it is to store it. I mean, maybe that's why we have so many photos on our phones. I remember the time when we used to have these film cameras and my parents and I used to go on trips and they would just bring a couple of rolls of film and take photos. Maybe they would have, I don't know, 24 to 48 uh, photographs that were taking the one trip. And now with our phones, we're taking hundreds of photos just from the one place. Not even talk about the whole trip. And let me know in the comments below if you've ever used one of these film cameras. But now let's take a company's intranet as an example. If there's a storage limit that a company has reached with their intranet, they're more likely to pay for a few more gigabytes of memory to be added rather than scarring the existing files and documents and data downloads or you know whatever that intranet might contain as that can be more challenging than just paying a little bit more for some extra storage. Hence, dark data. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.